Good evening, folks. Yippity do, it's Friday. Oh my God. What a week. What a week. Uh, it's not looking like it's going to get better anytime soon. Um, not been about the last um, sort of couple of days, uh, just because I've been watching the Daybell trial. Uh, I wanted to stream it. The audio is so awful and uh, it's really difficult. It's really difficult. So, me streaming it off of their stream, I just don't see it's going to work. Um, and it's so confused that if you didn't follow this case, you wouldn't have a clue. We're only on day two, I think, day two or three. Um, day two of actually any witnesses. It all kicks off again on Monday. Hi, yeah, Lutine. How are you doing? <laughs> You're finishing chores. Ugh, yeah. <laughs> yay. <laughs> yay, yay. <laughs> it's great. Hey, go you, holes. On Tuesday, no way. Look at you, like Judith Chalmers. You'd be a little travel vlogger. You should do. You should do it. Well, good for you. I don't blame you. It's not exactly brilliant weather, is it? Righty. Uh, well, I decided to change this from a foodie one um, to a quirky loves Rosie. Someone sent me a little message today while I was at work, and they were like, "You got? Yeah, are you listening to? You, you got YouTube on?" And I'm like, "No, I'm at work." And they were like, put it on, put it on. Well, old Quirky, who we've been on her tail since she turned up. Um, <coughs> I haven't really revisited her for a long time. There's a ton of videos on the channel about her. Uh, she was being one thirsty girl again in Yappa's chat apparently today. So I switched it on. And yeah, there she was getting ripped a new one. <laughs> she done this with me. She, she done this with me. When she first came on the scene, must be probably best part of a year ago, um, and she was in Breezy, with Breezy, done a thing. She's been one thirsty thing on the internet. She's done um, obese to beast. Uh, she got ripped to shreds in the uh, H Street podcast. She rated herself. She rated herself an 8 out of 10, and then she went on another podcast and rated herself a 10 out of 10. I mean, who does that? Be a little bit humble. Uh, I, I, well, this one I've had for quite a while, but um, she's like a she's like a bad day. She's always a misery gut. So let me share the screen here, and we'll go on her page. Uh, um, she hates me. She hates me big time because uh, you had that other idiot. What's that doomsday person? No madness after life. Um, she she was rating her and going, oh look, this is this is how you should do it, Amberlyn and Chantel. No, no, not at all. There's an awful lot about this one all over the internet. Um, in in all her glory, should we say? Um, look, not knocking workers in that industry, but um, she was going to come in, take the crown off of Girl World. I mean, who'd want that crown to start off with? But um. She's quite a thing. Uh, I can't remember. We The last time, let's just have a little scroll through the channel. When was the last one that we covered with her? Um, was it a try on haul? Was it? Oh, no, it was this one. Was it? Was this the last one? When she was crying over not being diagnosed as autistic. Um, she wants everything. You can have a bingo card with this one of everything that's wrong with her. Um, you name it. She's got it. So where should we start this one off? Uh, and, and she's saying that she's lost 80 pounds or something. Well, this is her nine months ago here. Um, and this is her now. Looks massive to me. I see no difference. But anyway, what do I know? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not the size of four people, so I don't know. Maybe you can lose nearly a whole person and uh, it not notice. I don't know. Um, look at her. So she got the boot. So let's start off with her. She, she's, she's been laid off at work, so we, we very rarely get through any of her videos without her crying. Um, so should we start there? <laughs> you know, you recognise it. Oh, yes, it's her. It's her. Now, if we look here, she kind of didn't really, I mean, she nine months ago, she had a little push here to try and get money off the internet. Um, and then she was very sporadic. You know, she'd do like 
a month here, a month there. She'd schedule lives in, not bother doing them. And then look, if we scroll up here to when she got the boot, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, 13 days ago, 10 days ago, eight days ago, six days ago, three days ago, one day ago, because she's got no job. <laughs> uh yeah her past is more than colorful i mean when when she came in um and that that weirdo just breezing was bigging her up and then the other weirdo no madness afterlife um that was bigging her up and i'm like what are you having a laugh do you even know who this person is <laughs> uh um, yeah, and she came in one of my lives, and all right, I was high as a kite. They'd been messing around with my pain meds, and I'd taken a load of them because I was having a really bad time. And um, uh, and I did call her a funnel feeder, and she got quite <laughs> she got quite upset about that. Oh yeah, and I and and then I told her that she, <laughs> and then on another one, which she addressed, she did address because she's quite thin skinned, really. Um, I said that she collects illnesses like my boys used to collect Pokemons. Uh, and she got the ump about that as well. Um, so I'm not quite sure how this is going to play out. <laughs> anyway, who cares? Uh, right, let's 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 see her get 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 laid off from work. I mean, she's ticking all the boxes. Awful sunglasses. Look, awful sunglasses. Awful sunglasses. I mean, she's there, isn't she? Oh, my God. What's this? Oh, no. A pound of lasagna. Weighing what I eat in a day and PR Troyum Hall vlog. Oh, we might have to do that. That was a right laugh last time she had a try on haul. <laughs> <laughs> Meow. Righty, here we go. Mm -mm -mm. It's been hey, So I've definitely had a wall. Um, but I've been pushing myself anyways. Here we go. Ugh. Ugh. But anyway, I've been trying. Oh, you're trying all right. Let's speed her up a bit. Um, ding, ding, ding. 1.25, because sometimes she does speed quite quickly. Right, here we go. <clears throat> uh, so let's get her to the bit where she gets laid off, shall we? I've watched a bit of this. Where does she start crying? Oh, I don't know. All right, let's take it from about here. <laughs> and um, the guy before me, we were sitting in line waiting. She was like doing something. Only person working there. He's waiting. He says like, um, you know, I'm ready to check out or whatever. And then we wait for like not even 60 seconds. And he goes, we're still waiting. And I'm like, okay, boomer. Wow. All right. Okay, boomer. Well, all right, balloona. Oh, uh, 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 yeah, she's... um. Well, yeah, that's the thing. 80 pound weight loss. Do me a favor. That's nearly a whole person. All right, a small person, but that's nearly a whole person. You'd notice it, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I say no. But I mean, she's ticking the boxes. Awful sunglasses. Calm down. And I found out while I was talking oh, to she's her. Ram he had already, hang she on, asked hang on. If he was ready, and she, he was like, no, no, no. As soon as he was, he's like yelling at her. They didn't have a cauliflower on sale still. I'm so sad. What? Um, but I got cabbage. I got some limes. I got some ginger. Um, I I want to make like a basically like an egg roll bowl because we've got ground pork like... in the freezer. Sorry, what's going on here? That's better. And like I want to do that for a meal prep. And I think um, she's a bit taller. I like to make like I think she's cabbage. bigger. So I like like an easy pickle, um, to eat with meals. So I'm gonna do that and then. I had another, oh, that and I wanted to make the um, enchilada lasagna bake type thingy, Bobber. Oh, this all sounds um, so, so healthy. I am on my way to the park now because I didn't get anything. It's so oh. healthy. She's crying that the cauliflower wasn't on offer. Um, yeah, this sounds enchilada. Isn't there a nine ton of cheese in there? Oh, oh my God. They had these things up here this time that they didn't have last time. Baby mangoes. Oh, look at the baby mango. It was like six dollars a pound. I only got three of them, so it came out to like two bucks. But the baby mango. Oh my god. She's trying to be really she's trying to be quirky here. What she isn't is quirky. What she is is an absolute damn trauma dumping buzzkill. Um it, she is a giant 
moaning baby <laughs> who still lives in mama's house Ash, at 32. So cute. So I like this sports cap. I like vodka, but hey. <laughs> Not today, Satan. I got work in the I morning. I in the car without spilling. I deserve a medal for that. And then I think I am going to stop off at Publix because I've been out of yellow mustard for so long. What? And I need to get some yellow mustard. Uh -huh. And I want to get more cottage cheese because oh, my mom just finished off the last of it. What is it with these fat chicks and the damn cottage cheese? Shake it up a bit, chunkers. I'm so bored of everything with cottage cheese. Um, which is fine. It was kind of getting old anyway. Um, and I think there was like one or two small things that I wanted you to get. You don't, do um, you? So <gasps> like the way that I'm currently eating. I oh, know. You're going to have to get out in the wild. <laughs> Catch her out in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I have it written down, so I'm not concerned. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go play Pokemon Go and go walk around the park. Oh, God. I just refilled my water bottle with the rest. Don't, of don't, don't go play Pokemon Go because you get that mixed up. You go, you go around the park collecting illnesses. Uh, and you're all thirty-two years old. Are people even still doing that? Water. Is that still a thing? And look at this shit, y'all. What? The absolute disrespect. What? Are you shitting my dick right now? Oh, lovely. Quirky and classy. Weather's well, been so nice until literally I was about to open my car door. Look, Chunku, it's only spitting the rain. You can go for a walk in that, or are you worry. I mean, it might do you a favour. Some things do shrink in the wash. I mean, it might help. I mean, I don't think it's going to be a gremlin thing. I think you'll be all right. You can go for a little walk. Any old excuse. The timing mm -hmm. is perfect. I guess I'll just go to Publix then and walk around inside. Yeah, same. At house. least I left my house today. Same, same. You know, there's that. And I look cute. Hey. Hey y'all, so I'm glad I didn't go walking at the park today. How 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 many beans can one person find green beans? Like we eat veg all the time here and you, uh, she cooks for herself. How many do you need? That's ridiculous. They'll just go bad. When do you think so? America forgot lasts two forever. Details today. I forgot to take my anti-anxiety med before I left the house, and I forgot to take preventative ibuprofen. So right now, my... Preventative ibuprofen? For what? Hey. Entire body is on fire. Oh, okay, right. Oh, this is for a chronic pain. Now, anyone who has chronic pain knows that ibuprofen does not touch anything. It just doesn't. It's pointless. I didn't walk that much, and my knee's hurting really bad today because oh, fucking here we go. I have been more active recently. Yeah. <laughs> so I just spent fifteen dollars at Publix. I got two bags of green beans. So I'm gonna make a big batch of green beans. Yeah. Um, Blanche, mom. I might do some of the vegetable prep stuff tonight. Oh, a cool thing happened on my way to Publix. So. Um, I stayed in the parking lot for a bit. I tried to wait out the rain, and then eventually I was just like, "Fuck this!" No, no, she cooks and, herself. Um, it wasn't raining that bad, to be honest. She tells but us. I was already feeling I'm... really anxious about being at the park, and um, I was just like on the fence about it. And ultimately, I'm glad I listened to my body and the rain. But um, I, I does this person look like she listens to her body? What is it with these types? I went to go leave. I rolled down my windows and I started blasting um, the next song on my playlist, which was um, Every Time We Touch by uh, Cascada or Cascada, whatever. 
and um Shikaitis, whatever. I, so I go, I leave, I go in the parking lot and I turn around. So like where this is at, this, this is such an interesting story. Of my tiny little town. So there's like a bunch of shops. In, like, this is such an interesting story. <laughs> no, ibuprofen doesn't touch anything. It doesn't prevent anything. It, it's just like a waste of time. Pre preventative ibuprofen. I've never heard of anything so stupid in all my life. For someone who says they've got chronic pain, doesn't know what it is. <clears throat> walking around and stuff and um i had like a, a little like main character energy moment it was kind of cool um so i'm cool. like i pull up and i stop at this at one of the stoplights uh -huh. um right by the park and as that's happening a group of like six to ten adult teenagers thought you was a bouncy castle no nerds playing pokemon go because i mean they're my people that's not an insult um we're wow. walking up to the light. Like, oh, yeah. Like, she went on someone's podcast and went around, like, saying that she was, like, this super great person and knocking in cells. Okay. Yeah. Like, she's got the life experience to know. <sighs> she's one of these ones that, anyway, one of those. Crosswalk is. And it all happened so fast. I was, like, dancing in my car, dancing and, like, singing and vibing. And, um... I hear something and I turn and again, this all happened so quickly. I turn my head and I see them going like, yeah, like, like that's what's up, whatever they said. And like, um, just like kind of have like a moment with me. Mm -hmm. And then, so I just like smile and I look and I see the light screen. I go, ah, oh, shit. So I the, yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> she, if she's saying she's lost 80 pounds, isn't it in the old um, 600 pound life, old Dr. Nell, although he's like pretty harsh, she's like, no, you, you, you great big fat thing of 500 pounds, you can lose 50 pounds in a month. And here's the diet that you do it. And this has been going on nine months or actually seven years, 80 pounds in seven years. That's, that, that, that's not doing it really, is it? I mean, it isn't. Are we really trying? Because that's a huge amount of calories to keep this size, isn't it? As I pull off, I just, like, stick my thumb out the window and just, like, do a thumbs up. Because I didn't know what else to do. It all happened so quickly. Like, if I mm -hmm. if the light was so green, I would have said something to them. Um, but Oh, such a great I started, like, story. I pulled off and I was just, like, cool. And then literally. Wow, this is a story. Oh, God. Yay. You were playing some music and some. Ugh. That's it. That that's it, and people interacted on some kind of light changing minimal level, and she's so excited about this. <sighs> Not even ten feet ahead, my brother is getting out of his car to go play Pokemon Go. <laughs> and oh, I'm, Holes, I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> I thought I was going down the pan the other day, actually, um, just because I was sleeping loads, and that's usually not a good sign. It's usually a lead up to something not great. Um, I'm so glad you're going to be off and in the sunshine again soon because that helps loads. That does. There's there's no getting around it. Um, it being the warm and the sunshine, it really does help. Yeah, it, it does, doesn't it? It's amazing, which is kind of like my, my escape plan out of here really um in the next sort of six to eight months it's still on the cards um i've just got to get get through a very busy kind of time at work and uh then i should be be able to just get hopper flights back here as and when i need to but i've got to do a chunk of stuff i've got to be back here in september anyway um but yeah sunshine that's where i want to go because i feel better not great all the time but my god it's not like here don't know what like, it is i'm it's... like hey leave my and he just turns around and goes it's not like not even phased and um god she's and so then like funny. a couple of people were like nodding approvingly to my music choice so it was kind of cool uh, i am in a lot of pain no oh, god i'm in a lot of pain what's going um, on here why is why is this feed being stupid come on why are you not playing properly? I can see uh, you're yeah, not. I mean, I, I'm having a high pain moment. See, for a minute, like this week, I've had, I don't even know if it's been a whole week, but these past like few days, I've been really good. I bet. I've been having a really like good time. Good I've for you, Holes. I've been in good spirits. 
my pain hasn't been as bad. And I've literally been, had this part of me, like when I'm talking to my best friend about it too, I'll just be like, you know, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Like I'm waiting. I'm like, that's what's so, like, I think if you're chronically ill, you'll get it. What? Like, when you're having a good time, when you're happy, when you're feeling good, there's a small part of you in the back of your head. Like, okay, so when's, when's it going to end? No. Like you. Oh yeah. Great. Positive thinking. No, not like that at all. When I'm fine, I'm fine. And I'm like, yeah, it's gone. And I don't give it a second thought. I don't, I don't have in the back of my mind, oh, yeah, uh, I'm feeling really great. I'm having a good time. Oh, but in the back of my mind, it's not going to last forever. No, in my head, it's like, yes, it's gone. It's not coming back. Um, Because I, I choose to see things that way, unrealistic or not. It's like brace yourself almost because no, it isn't. then if you don't, like when it, ha when it does inevitably happen, yeah. you're like, more emotionally affected by it like more emotionally oh, shut sad, up. frustrated whatever upset angry <sighs> you know depending on the situation really um but i overall I've had a good day um although she's in severe chronic pain now apparently oh no it's here no it isn't i oh god these people are such an insult aren't they <laughs> no, I'm not doing poor me here at all because I know I'm not in 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 anywhere near as bad as the next person. But uh, this isn't how it rolls. This isn't how it rolls. This is when I cancel all my meetings, even though I'm working from home, um, because I'm in my pajamas. I'm 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 barely. Sometimes I've taken my bloody laptop and I have two screens for work. Um, two screens in addition to my laptop. And I'll just be in bed working on my bloody laptop, um, doing the best I can, hoping that I don't get caught what I feel is skiving, even though I'm still working. What the hell? Shut up. Oh, God. I can feel my cheeks getting red. She's winding me up on a Friday. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. She gets the boot soon. <laughs> That'll cheer us up. Yeah, I'm glad I, I got out of the house. I'm glad I made myself leave. Normal me would just stay in bed all day and rest yeah. and recuperate. And sometimes I do need to do that. Oh, you know, oh, I need to allow myself rest, but I haven't been out for very long. I spent like an hour sitting in the car, you know, so I'm going to go home. Hey, y'all. So oh. I've definitely had a walk. <laughs> um, but I'm Hey, um, it's this is like when when you're a little kid and you try like my boys used to do this. They'd be like, and it's always the tummy ache, and they don't want to go to school. There's probably a spelling test or some maths test or something like that. And they're like, oh, hey, mom, mom, oh, I don't feel well. I've got a tummy ache. <laughs> If, if she'd hit a wall, she'd be curled up in bed in the fetal, fetal position with the duvet over her going, get lost, cruel world. I'm pushing myself anyways. I'm about to throw these in the oven for prep. I made three pounds of green beans. I used a tablespoon of bacon grease per pound. Bacon grease, yep. Seasoning, <laughs> no actual meat in it. That's what is she making? Sorry, I just took my jumper off there. I have a t-shirt on. I'm not like, you know, uh got the very unimpressive hoo hards out or anything. What what's she got here? What we got? It's been like I used to make a much unhealthier version of bacon green beans. Bacon that was green. basically a pound of bacon. Green beans and bacon fat. Why do they need the bacon fat? A little bit of rock salt and a bit of olive oil, I don't know. Actually, not even that. A little bit of sesame oil, a bit of ginger and garlic. No. Again, for about two pounds. Uh -huh. So now I do that to get the flavor. I still like it a lot. I blanch them and then fry them off in a pan with the bacon grease. I'm going to bake those off. I also... This bloody stream is struggling, isn't it? I can see it. Shoot, StreamYards is so useless. So I'm, I'm so need to clean up the kitchen. I'm currently, I'm currently defrosting the stuff oh my for God. the beach and for the um, currently defrosting stuff for the egg roll in a bowl and the chicken enchilada and the um, cabbage. 
the cabbage I prepped. I also am pickling. Let me see. Oh, is it? Beans and bacon. I'm currently pickling some, doing an easy pickle of Never heard cabbage of it. and a white onion. And I'll let that sit in there for a few days. Add a little bit of honey, some garlic paste, hot water, rice vinegar, um, garlic and onion powder. Kept it pretty simple. Of course. Um, oh, my yeah. God. It's like the fat chick essential, isn't it? Garlic and onion powder. <laughs> God forbid you should dice up a real onion and get a few cloves of garlic. Ah. Uh. I, maybe it's just over here. I mean, I think you can get garlic powder or granules. Um, I never have because it's just as easy to get just a bulb of garlic. I mean, I put garlic in a lot of things, but um, it, it's just like the Anne Boleyn cooking school of nasty, isn't it? Just, just, what's, oh, anyway, I think it's an over here thing. It's today's prep. I'm going to probably be cooking more on the weekend. Um, it's like hamburger helper. That's still a damn mystery to me. Well. Um, I'm doing really good the past few days, but today specifically I am. Oh, my God. Hang on. We've got a mix of foodie, afterlife by Jen, and Amber going on here. We've got the Amberlyn Reed ear pod in for no reason. Um, we've got hair that hasn't been washed for about a hundred years, or it looks like that. Tick that box for foodie and amber. Oh. Or tonight was it I'm not feeling great, so yeah, you just say y'all. Oh life. Jesus Christ. Like very, very dramatic. Oh Jesus Christ. Now we've got glasses that even Elton John or Dame Edna would actually turn down. And they're cutting into her nose. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's really bad, but, yeah. Hello, well behaved. <laughs> Good evening, it's Friday. It's Friday here in the UK. It's Friday and it's uh, quarter past seven coming up, so um, I've had a rotten week. <laughs> So, yeah, what else is there to do? Take the piss out of fat chicks on the internet. It's not like I've got a life. No, I don't proclaim to. <laughs> Hope you're having a good Friday. Or oh, if you're Antipodean, Saturday already. Unexpected turn. Oh, I woke up. Lucky Mel. Oh, we've hit the wall. We've got chronic pain. Oh, I'm struggling through, though. Now, next one. More boo-hoo. Oh, God. Today, and I started to film. I was going to film. Like a Can we turn the TikTok fucking air con down? YouTube reel or whatever. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. The hair still hasn't been washed. Uh, I can't say anything about the eyebrows because mine are feral. And I picked up my breakfast like two hours ago, over two hours ago, and I still haven't mm. eaten it. Yes. Because I um, because <laughs> she doesn't like fruit. Log into work and I had a message from a name I didn't know. Oh fuck! And see now this is a good thing with me. The kind of job that I do, I don't personally know everyone, but I know everyone's names because <laughs> because I had to set them up or log them in or they've bought tickets up of shit that's broken. Yeah, there's not a single person that I don't know in my firm, uh, but. That's never good, is it? Getting an email from someone you've never, ever heard from. Uh-oh. I knew that wasn't a good thing. Okay. And she pulls me into a meeting. Uh-oh. And, um... Oh, shit. I've been laid off. Uh, her hair's falling out as well. Okay. Foodie tick. You've been laid off. Okay. Well, happens to the best of us. Do you know what you need to do? Get off your mobile phone. Stop talking to yourself. Get a shower. Uh, get on the phone and find another one. Like, get the CV typed up. Get your references all in, in order. And, uh, you know, get back out there. Go to the recruitment agents. Like, get on it. 
um, with a month's worth of pay. And that's before my severance would get enacted um, at this present moment. I haven't looked over the paperwork. I haven't read I'm sorry, but I'm more interested in the skills of this little lad in the background. He's pretty cool with that ball there. Through everything. I'm also eligible for... Um, I'm also eligible for unemployment. And, um, well, you're fine then. I love my job. I look. I I'm sorry, but with all her chronic illnesses and her doctor shopping for I'm I'm going to see the doctor for this and that and the other and therapy and this thing and YouTube and all and Instagram and going on podcasts and flying off to do podcasts. Uh, I don't. Um, uh, I mean, my YouTube channel is not like it used to be because I haven't got time for it anymore. So yeah, all these all these things that you've got going on here. Uh, yeah. All right. Anyway, there's loads of companies that are stopping people working remotely because actually uh, not everybody's that productive and they want them back in the office. So heartbroken and I'm scared. I'm scared for what the future well, will be. You're unemployable. I am disabled and I got really lucky. I flat out asked them about, like, I'm just trying to understand why I was selected. And basically, it sounds like she didn't fully admit this, but she told me I'm completely re-eligible for rehire in any department. And I went to their website. There you go, then. And I was looking through, and I realized, I was like, all the remote positions are gone. Uh-oh. I think they're getting rid of remote. Well, yeah, it makes it. Uh, to be honest, uh, some companies it works for. In certain departments, other companies not so much. Um, we see it on the stats. We see it on the stats here, um, and it, and it really is down. To, a lot of it is down to the individual as well. Um, some people are so distracted when they're working from home. Other people, I'm not going to say I'm like dream employee. Employee, I'm not. Um, but I treat the living room, uh, the dining room, like it is the office. Um, so. I'm in here, I get my breaks, I'm out of here. Um, and I, all right, I do put the washing on and things like that. But um, other people, they'll have the TV on, they'll have distractions, they'll have kids in the house, they'll, they'll just have stuff going on and they don't shut themselves away and treat their working space like it is the office. Um, and it is hard, it is hard. Um, and if productivity has gone down then um yeah i would if I, I we're in a really difficult commercial climate if productivity's gone down through remote workers i'd have everyone back in the office because ultimately it's survival of everyone over the few it's business harsh isn't it but uh, <laughs> no business is a charity and money doesn't come from nowhere remote workers Five foot six. They, she didn't just. She didn't say that though. She, she oh, said no, she was it's Charlie's not a full mom. Performance based. Someone messaged me and they were like, "Have you got YouTube on?" And I'm like, "No, I'm at work." And they were like, "Are you in meetings?" And I'm like, "No, because I'm texting you." And um, and they were like, "Put YouTube on. Put put YouTube on." And uh, go on, yeah, on on uh, YouTube Underground. That were like your mate Quirky's doing it again. She's thirsty, girl. She's thirsty, girl. Like she was at <laughs> she was at the beginning when I called her a funnel feeder. <laughs> she got the ump. <laughs> Five foot six. Okay, I'm good at my job. So like, I know I, I knew that. Of so course I knew you this are. Was bullshit. And that's why I was she's the like, best at everything. Let's not forget, she's an eight out of ten. You know, she's up there with foodie on that. Uh, 90% more attractive than anyone on the internet. Oh, no, she's an 8 out of 10. And if you don't fancy her and you're a chap, you're an incel. Like, I, I flat out asked her, I was like, I feel like, you know, is I'm, I am have, I have ADA accommodation. Like, this feels a little suspect. However, I worded it. I worded it better than that. It takes the time. Anyway, yeah. She had a response that made sense to me at the very least. I must admit. I, I like helping I, I must admit, if it wasn't for <laughs> boo-hoo, my health, I much rather would not be working from home. But 
at the, at, at the moment, that's where I am. Um, and, and there's not a lot I can do about it. Oh, God, though, I'd rather, I said this to my boy um, the other day, and I said, you know what, I'm feeling flat at work today. Um, and I was like, I really miss having a laugh at work. And and he and I, and he was like, he looked at me, and I was like, well, it's just me in the dining room, isn't it? I, you can't entertain yourself. <laughs> Am I productive? Yes, I'm probably more productive than being in an office environment. But for me personally, uh, I have more of a laugh. <laughs> I have more of a laugh when I'm around people, and and I'm better able to sort of. But then I do distract myself. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, honestly, Charlie's mum. She's been on. I've had her on this channel for since she arrived on and off. I haven't checked in with her for a good few months, um, just because of this. You know, I think the last one we done on this channel was when she was crying that she she couldn't get a diagnosis of autism. It's like what? Who'd be crying over the fact they don't have something? Oh, this one. This one. Ugh. <laughs> anyway. My patience. Your patience. We heard about and them. I, I can't do a non-remote job long term. Why? And I don't know what I'm going to do, so I'm really sad. Karen. There must still be loads of remote jobs or temp remote jobs. But you know what she has done? She's gone from uploading, if she can be bothered, once a month to every few days. So this is her this is her career choice. That's why she was in Yabba's chat. Like the beginning, like at the beginning, I'm going to take the crown of girl world. Yeah, fucking lovely. Who wants that? Um, and she was all over the reaction channels, all over. She done that little gym thing which was a free membership of a couple of hours where she videoed herself like she's changing she never went back it was once she never went back she couldn't be bothered because it didn't happen for her overnight she couldn't be bothered um and so now i guess it looks like her career choice is uploading every couple of days on YouTube, thinking it's going to earn her a fortune. Well, I hope it doesn't, because we know how that goes for these kind of girls. Um, my favorite discount store just uploaded new photos. Oh, and God, really? Really, like, good things that were just added into the freezer that I think... Oh, I dear go God. She claims she has 11 out of 16 symptoms of something else. Oh, just didn't tell us. Oh, she's great at self-diagnosing herself. Oh, we've got history of that. You name it, she's got it. Um, <clears throat> oh, Charlie's mum. Anyway, it's good to see you. Not seeing you for a little while. Happy Friday. <laughs> oh, no, she won't. She's awful. <laughs> she's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> all right host well good you must eat something as tricky as it is go go have some supper um yeah we'll be here forever i've got now to do this evening again well <laughs> spoiler alert <laughs> and it's quirky i forgot i love taking the piss out of her i Those forgot how much i enjoyed it i can so i have like healthy proteins what Available. What? So I'm gonna go to the house, and then I'm gonna try to go to the park because yesterday wasn't successful. And even if I just fucking sit on a bench, I just want to spend some time outside. It's a nice day. It's a little. Oh, now the now the exercise regime. Even if I just sit on a bench. Yep. Warm, which is why I'm blasting the AC. So I'm gonna. Yeah, great. Go get some retail therapy with like something practical. What? Which is. Food storage, because uh... food storage. I think you're all right, love. You've just lost your job. You're going to be fine. Like I wouldn't be overspending on groceries. I really wouldn't. I I, I think you'll last quite a while without. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna need to be way more careful. I'm gonna need to be way more careful. Uh, full disclosure, like I have stuff already at the house that I plan on unboxing and like what. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Um, I'm still, I'm still more enjoying the little kiddos in the sunshine having fun with a basketball. Talking about obviously before this announcement, before this fucking just moment in my life, my friends have been really great oh, and supportive God. for me. Oh no, she's having a moment. Go away. I, uh, well, I heard this. I did hear this that she reckons she's lost eighty pounds or something. Um, and I'll, I'll go back in a second. Actually, let's do it. no, no. Let's get through this one, and then I'll show you that she hasn't. Um, she lying <laughs> because um, she hasn't. <laughs> she's reversed the diabetes. Oh, she's got a cure for it, has she? Okay, like foodie. Oh, I cured my diabetes. Cured my diabetes. Now what she got? Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter how bad your days are. These chicks keep me going. A hundred pounds. She reckons she's lost a hundred pounds. That's nearly a whole person. <laughs> it might be a hundred pounds in English money on shit she doesn't really need. So, so she's just got lost her job here. She's got enough food in the house. She could go a couple of weeks anyway. And her fir first thought is to go stock up on food. Yeah. Okay. I really appreciate all of them. My best friends and... Yeah. I love boys. Fridays. <laughs> I start, I'm on the Friday countdown when it gets to Tuesday. <laughs> Just got to talk to London boy for a little bit, so oh, suddenly God. I'm in a much better mood, gee. I wonder why. Uh, I don't know who London boy is. I'd question his taste, but... Um... Oh, look at that. You're fine again. Brilliant. I'm going to figure this out. It's fucking glasses. I'm going to figure this out, but y'all are going to be here for the ride. Maybe you'll help me figure no. it out, too. Some of you are really helpful. Yeah, yeah, no, it's really easy. Uh, you write your CV up. You get a reference from your job because you just said you were wonderful at it. And you get on the internet and you flick that thing over to everyone. That CV goes to anyone and everyone remotely attached to your past job in that kind of same environment, industry. And you it, you hope for the best. That's it. You don't fuck around on YouTube. You don't fuck around getting shopping you can't afford because you've lost your job. You, you you go, okay, all right, something better is going to come of this. There's a reason for this, something better. There's going to be a better job, better wages, better people, better pension, better whatever. And you get your head down and you crack on. No? Well, and also in the comments section. Or you go to the shops and buy food. I appreciate you guys for that. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go through my freezer bag Oh, my bag real God. Quick. Uh, I find that really offensive. Is that? She's got her wallet in her. Um, I got a bunch the of good stuff. I got two packages of this bacon. I showed oh, it in one of my last sake. videos. So I got two Oh, just the two packs of the bacon. Healthy girl. That'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make it up, can you? You can't make it up. Oh no! Hi, you blue eyes. How are you doing? Happy Friday! Ugh. Ugh. I think I might have to bring back the chest ass merchandise. Do you guys remember that? Hi, you Sherry. How are you doing? Sorry, I didn't say hello before. Yeah, a hundred pounds apparently. 100 bucks on bacon. <laughs> I'll have to find it. Um, I, I'll put it in a community post. I actually, I actually was going to make some merch with one of her um, previous early days videos. <laughs> Where, um, uh, uh, chest arse. Uh, I'm sure we're going to get a flash of her chest arse at some stage. She can't not. Packages. No, like she's four ninety nine each. <laughs> she hates for two me. pounds. I basically got one, two, lots of four pounds of bacon for ten dollars. Can't blame you. Two bags of these. What's um, that? These are oh, like chicken strip thing. Two pound bags. So, or two and a half. This, it, it, I mean, I know everywhere is different, but everything's frozen. Uh, butterflies and boobs. You know, I like that. It's a chest ass. 
into the Insta chest stars. I'll have to find it. Oh, can I share that? Uh, do you know what? Oh, do you want me to find my merch? Hang on one second. My fake merch. Hang on, hang on. I can probably find the file. Hang on. I had it in screenshots. <laughs> Hang on. Right, hang on. Uh, let's find it. Right. I've got pictures of my kiddos on here, so that's why I've moved that over. Hang on. Where's my merch? I was going to make this merch just for a laugh. Oh, it's taking forever to load up. That's because there's 8 million screenshots of fat chicks. That's why. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, there it is. Yeah, chest arse. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, open up. Uh, uh, uh. Now, will it let me? Will it let me share that screen? Hang on. Eh, eh, eh. Let's get back with you guys. Come on, it's worse than the weight. Uh, share screen. Oh, shit, I'll stop sharing screen. Eh, hang on. Share screen. We'll come back to it in a minute. Uh, new tab. No. I won't let me. Okay. It won't let me. Or will it? Wait, it's new. No, it won't let me. That's rubbish. Oh. Sorry about that. Okay, back with her. Back with chest arts. I'll put it in a community post. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so rubbish. It's been a long day. I've come back, so I got two of them for ten dollars. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Is it? I got a couple more of these because I did. Oh, like oh yeah, healthy girl. Get yeah. what's this? Pizza melt. Oh yeah, up that. Good for you. So then they are nice, handy little meals to have on hand. Um, I also got. Huh? Uh, you just wouldn't. Uh, I cured my diabetes. Cured my diabetes. <laughs> um, there must be a ton of sugar and rubbish in here. I'd rather not eat. Uh, one of these. What's this? Um, like, it's a... What's this? Garlic. Garlic. What? I can't read backwards. Total of three portions of a side, ready to eat. Potato. Um, as well as. I got two of these. What's this? Cheddar broccoli rice. Is that need fucking cheese? Real cheese. <laughs> oh, damn, that will do it. Is um because <laughs> I'm good. Thanks, three Sherry. Three I'm each. very glad it's Friday. I got two because this just looks really good. If I want rice, I want to eat something like this, and so. I looked at the nutrition facts and oh god, does she? It's pretty solid oh, for going what I'm going for in, in bit. terms of like portions and all that, like serving us alongside vegetables and protein. A couple more bags of the frozen peaches from my last video. Frozen peaches. Yeah. Okay. Um, I got a thing. I just got one hot dog because these. <gasps> oh, so we've got like a ton of bacon. Now we've got some schnauts, trotters, and arses. Lovely. We've got pizzas. <laughs> We've got cheesy rice. Oh, please. How lazy can you get? These are kind of expensive for a discount store, in my opinion. $2.50. Mm, I don't know. Ugh, can you imagine what's in there? $2.50. That's less than two pounds over here for a, what, eight hot dogs. Trotters, asses, and schnauts. Yummy. If it was like a dollar ninety nine, I'd be I'd probably buy a couple. Um, but you know, I have standards. I got six containers of honey deli ham, like thinly sliced deli ham. I'm glad I went oh, when I did. Sure. I basically bought them out of half the stock they have remaining. And they yeah, I mean, foodie. I don't know what's going on with her. I was expecting her to pop up again. Um, she's literally done a forty five second pre record. And that stupid hospital thing um, in, what, a week? Having had a week ban anyway, um, how's she getting back to QA? She's not earning the money. Oh, anyway, who cares? Foodie who is going to get to that stage because 
the recommend sorry my breathing's a bit rubbish <coughs> the recommendations on my page are outrageous but it takes a while to learn someone it took me a while with this one to find the history and the backdrop <laughs> when she first trundled in only posted that update a few hours ago here let me show you one of these so this was a dollar 99 and even says lower sodium on it so awesome so these will be we'll pull these out of the freezer like as we eat uh, honey ham okay yeah more processed shite them again this is just for like conveniency meals my brother's gonna look you've just found out you've lost your job you've got all the time in the world you don't need anything for convenience do you you've got all the time in the world to prepare your 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 food and um not not need all this processed shit i mean wouldn't like to think that you could possibly be lazy and honestly probably ending up getting a lot of these which is one of the reasons why i got so many oh blame me on the brother. brother i got a selection of these individually portioned chip bags because everybody in my house this is like one of our favorite chip flavors um, I've never had the less fat. Oh, she's a mix of all of them. Um, she she's an absolute drama queen, like Anne Boleyn. Um, she, she she's foodie is like is a bit of an ex. Well, more than a bit of an exhibitionist. I mean, uh, anyway. Um, and and uh, well, also like foodie, she's fucking horrible. She's a horrible person. Like she, she's she thinks she's smarter than she is. She thinks she's more attractive than she is. She's a fucking know it all. Um, and oh look, look, uh, what's this now? Now crisps. All right, all right, chips. You guys call them chips. Um, did we need these? We've just lost our job. Did we need these? version but i mean clearly that makes it less calorically dense so oh yeah yeah i'm into it 40 percent less fat or you could have 100 percent less fat by not buying them oh she sends the bag okay. and then my i didn't like the lime flavor too too much more but they shit. had a new one 79 cents oh yeah more processed nachos yeah great oh are they healthy as well one of the five a day it's for these organic Tortilla chips, I thought these would be... Fuck off. Organic. What? Oh, well, there you go. Organic. There's probably one ingredient in there that's organic and the rest isn't. What a gimmick. Good chips to use whenever I make like a... I want to make some cottage cheese dips, Ugh. like with this and the hard salami that I have at the house. Oh, salami. She's got salami as well. That's a healthy girl. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how... You don't lose a hundred pounds. Well, actually, you lose a hundred pounds in seven years, <laughs> or not, as it actually probably is. Oh, please, she's a joke. Um, they also had this Halo Top Brownie Mix. I thought I could use this with like Greek yogurt and kind of make my own baked. Is she damn well trolling us here? Oh yeah, and look, I've just lost my job. Um, brownie mix. <laughs> I'm losing weight, folks. Shut up. Cocktail that might be better than following the directions on this. It's just water, oil, and egg. Um, so because uh, all the like sugar's it already in there, like it, I... maybe freezing something, some of it, so I can pull it out as I need it. Because again, I'm cooking for one person, but you know, I there you go, Lutin. Uh, she's cooking for one person. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, lady, you'll be fine. <clears throat> oh, God. I'm also working around multiple things, and mm -hmm. now I don't have to work around a work schedule, I guess. I got my brother some more of these, because when I bought these last time, I barely, I had, like, one. And what is this? Sweet Hawaiian flour tortillas. Sweet. So they've got sugar in them. Oh, you got them for your brother. Yeah, sure, Jen. <laughs> okay. The rest of the pack. So I saw when I saw they had more of the sweet Hawaiian, I got him some. 
And then just in case, I don't know what we have at the house, but I got some more of the zero net carb ones because uh. this is what I want to use as like the carb for my chicken enchilada bake. That I'll chicken on Kai. All right. Who knows? Maybe I'll make it tomorrow instead. I don't have to. I don't have to fucking go to work. Oh God! They got rid of her on the spot. Wow, that's unusual. I don't know what it's like in the states, but normally, I mean, if you get if if like you get laid off, you're getting a month's notice, aren't you? Like it's part of a business plan, and then they let everyone know, and they give them a month's notice, and then give them like basically so they can go and look for another job, and then they give them a month. I don't know if it's different in the states. Um, but that's how it works here. If it's a planned thing, unless it's gross misconduct, you just get dinged off or they really want you gone. They'll make you redundant um, and you just get your month. But normally as a layoff, they give you that month and then at a month on top, maybe it's different because your holidays are so little in the States as well. <clears throat> So they literally dinged her off overnight. Uh-oh. They let you know first. Yeah, that's what I would have thought. Because if it's just a change of business spec, like you actually, she's got these people that she looks after on the phone, she tells us. Um, like there's usually a bit of a handover or a crossover in, in of your your client base or even if it's like, not even if, because it's essential, but call centre workers. You can't just lay them all off. Someone has to do, you have to have that person and it kind of like slowly, slowly over a week or a month, it, it kind of settles in. They literally phoned, she got an email from someone she'd never heard of before from head office and they dinged her off there and then on the spot. Ah. There's probably more to this story. Whenever you're ready. Uh, yes, can I please get a large number seven? Oh, a big fuck. baking classic. Um, with a large... She totally is losing her hair like foodie as well, isn't she? I, I hate that. However horrible someone is. Uh, Sprite Zero um, <laughs> peach yeah. flavor. And then instead of fries... Can I please get a chili with added onion and cheese? Small or large chili? Um, how big is the difference? With added onion and cheese? Oh, my God. Small or large chili? How big is it? It's roughly. Um, and the large is almost. Hey, look, her glasses are doing what um, foodies' glasses do. They're actually sitting. They're, they're sitting on her cheeks. They're shading her eyebrows wonderfully. Twice the size of the small. Okay. Twice the oh, size. Let's do a large. Yeah, let's just... Let, let's just do the large then. Yep. Let's let's do that. Let's do large. Okay. And you said um, with cheese and onions. Yes, please. And I'm sorry. What flavor did you say for that sprite? Uh, sprite zero peach. Sprite zero, please. Yeah. yeah. Zero. Zero. Okay. There's a peach or strawberry. Cause... Um, okay. Anything else here? That's it. Thank you so. So much. Because uh, because we'll choose the chemicals every day over the sugar. But can I have extra cheese, please, in my chili? Alrighty. Uh, at least she's more polite to drive through people than foodie is. Because foodie's hot and cold with that. Amber's just rude. You pretty ate it every second ago. Thank you. My mom texted me. She wanted that. Oh look, it. proof. <laughs> Please buy me a Wendy's Big Bacon Classic Sandwich. Okay. Uh, your mum's helping out here with the big girl. Okay. So I decided to make it a combo and uh, supplement the fries for chili because I still haven't eaten today. Have the fruit. I honestly don't know. I wonder. Um, I... I wonder if um, it's a hormone thing, to be honest. I, I like maybe when you get that massively overweight, it's a hormone imbalance. And then, you know, you end up going through what is pretty much like male pattern baldness. Is she all drink from that? Mm, 
I don't know. Is she? Who's driving her then? Oh. Hang on. I'm just thinking. Do you know what? She is in the passenger side. Because I didn't notice that. Because obviously our drivers is on the other side in the, in the cars to, to you guys. Or is our camera reversing? Good point, Charlie's mum. Well spotted. In my bag, so I'm basically going to eat chili and fruit. Um, chili and fruit. first meal of the day. Wow. And her first meal of the day is large chili, extra onions, extra cheese, and fruit. The fruit's going to be getting a fruit fly colony, isn't it? Yeah, sod the fruit. I don't eat of the fruit and snack I'll eat later on. Mm -hmm. My mom hasn't been feeling good. If she's actually having an appetite enough to want to eat today, then I'm going to get her her sandwich. I'm going to do better and not get fried food. Hi, good. How are you? Yours. She doesn't appear to be driving, so who's driving her? So All right, cute. who cares? Not my business. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. She has a really pretty, like, pink underlay on blonde. Thank you. Is there a spoon in there? Oh what? Because at home you're you're another one, are you? You wanna add to the landfill of plastic purgatory. Because what, you're gonna be too lazy to get a spoon from your home? Yeah, and no seatbelt. Yep. It's these fat chicks. Again. Nice spot, Charlie's yes, run. You're on top <laughs> four. <a> great night. <laughs> we'll probably eat my lunch at the park. I'm going to take some time to myself, spend some time outdoors. I guess I'm having a little mini picnic. So my brother actually just came along with me. He's walking off. He's going to go walk off. Oh, around okay. Road. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to eat. So the brother was driving. All righty. Okay. So he's going to go for a little walk around, and you're going to sit down and eat. And this is how you lose a hundred pounds in seven years. Doctor now gets you to do fifty in a month. Yeah, and then I'm gonna play for a little bit. I'm probably gonna walk a little bit. I took some. I remember to take ibuprofen and my anxiety med today. I just don't want to rot in bed and be sad. So here I am. I'll show you guys something. <sighs> I actually think I might have something for y'all. Oh, God. Run. Run. She's going to eat you. Oh, she looks so much skinnier than she did nine months ago, ladies and gentlemen. Do me a favor. I'm going to walk away. Oh, great. Hello. Oh, my gosh. You're so close to me. Probably trying to figure out what it is. God, <laughs> wash your hair. That's disgusting. Howdy, friends. It's been a few days now since <gasps> I found out and went out and filmed this clip here, these clips here at the park. It was a really pretty night. Basically got to watch the sunset. Thanks, and, um, I went on a short little walk because I was too fat. really overwhelmed just in so many ways. And so, total so totally too fat to go out for a walk. This looks a lovely park. I wish we had parks like that here in the UK. You guys have got so much more space than we do over here. This is a lovely park not prepared for these changes i'm definitely faring a lot better than when i initially found out i, I don't know i just <sighs> maybe it's almost a little delulu but i do feel this sense that like i'm just i'm gonna be okay i'm very concerned and uh stressed about healthcare. but other than that um i know what i'm capable of and i know what my dreams are and i know what i want for myself and I'm going to try to share, do share, and we'll see where we are this time next year on the hopes and dreams train of Delulu. Go for that.
you know, I got to be practical. I have to make money to live, you know, we're all a part of the capitalistic machine oh, that is. For God's sake, can we not? The world right now. But it's moments like this. Go to North Korea. You'll find it's not like that where. Go to North Korea. Where, you Actually, know, you go outside, China. you touch some grass, you look at. Try China at the moment. Uh, they've got they've got a great new policy that anyone that's ever said anything bad about China best would not be flying through Hong Kong because they'll get you. Uh, a guy, a guy has just been got. A European guy has just been got. Um, mm. Go somewhere like that. Don't like the capitalists. The sky, you feel the air and wind. That's really what makes life worth living. That's what makes this world so beautiful and grand oh and God. yeah makes, i can't do this what motivates me to to want to be a part of it really you know we're all just kind of pretending that we know what we're doing here in this bizarre world there's just a lot going on on a global level let alone on a person oh god i can't right that's enough of that right let's get back to the shit show let's let's, let's go back into come on come in come in let's go back into her page in its entirety. Um, okie doke. Right, so here we have Chubby. Here we have Fatty. She's probably got filters on. Oh, no, that looks like... Oh, no, I'm in remission from my diabetes, so I would do that one next. But let's just see this miraculous change from eight days ago. Here we have her. I mean, looking as grubby as ever. And here we have her. Ooh, come on, load up. Blip, 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 blip. Nine months ago. <clears throat> Nine months ago when she landed on the scene. Are we seeing any difference here, ladies and gentlemen? Any difference at all? Right, which one do we want? Uh, <clears throat> uh, in remission for diabetes. See, I was really tempted for this one. A pound of lasagna, weighing what I eat in a day, and a PR try on haul. All right, we'll do them both. We'll do your one next. In remission. I keep my diabetes. Yeah, look what happened to old foodie. Neuropathy kicking in. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Buckle up. Oh my God. Chest arse is going to be out here. She. Uh, and this is another thing. Look. Look, this is pretty much, look at this. Look at this one here, what she's got as a thumbnail. This may as well be foodie back in Cracker the Olympics where she had to wear the skimpiest things. This one's the same. <clears throat> oh, I hate this intro. She's so aggressive. I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best, even though I'm so stressed out. Look at her. Look at her. It's always been the same. Since the moment she's had this same intro, since the moment she came on the scene. Oh, look. Ticking the boxes. The weird coloured knuckles. Amber tick. Everything just feels like a test that I fail so. Oh, yeah. It, here we have this. This is when No Madness, ugh, gimp, was like, Foodie, Anne Boleyn, this, because you know she's a damn know-it-all. She's an absolute damn know-it-all. Um, this is what you should be doing. You should be doing this. <clears throat> what she didn't know or spend time to research is this person. And uh, I came out all guns blazing because before I said anything, I researched a very shady old history of the internet. Um, <clears throat> she got a trial couple of hours at the gym, set her tripod up, done this stupid intro, like she was going to take the queen of the crown of queen girl world, um, and she never went back. So, yeah, there's that. And I can't seem to get out. But something deep inside won't let me. I do try to stay positive, but I also stay real. And this is fucking real right now. Hey, she, she hasn't stayed real at all, ever. Um, she's a, she's a poor me, dump all my problems, boo-hoo, uh, 
giant, giant complaining baby. Hi, welcome to me. I want to start out this video. Oh my God, turn the fan down. Ugh. With some really positive. I mean, I'm not being funny. She looks like she's melting. I mean, that's some width there. Girl, 100 pounds you've lost. Where? News. Back of the sofa. Um, but I need to also address that. I've got some other stuff going on that I'm going to briefly talk about. But <clears> first, <throat> here, Angela. I want to start what I just found out about less than 10 minutes ago. I don't know if I fully talked about this, but I, I think in a previous vlog, I did Oh, mention God. Here we go. That my Chest doctor's ass. office whoop, whoop, didn't whoop, send whoop, it over. Watch or... out. Chest ass incoming. Chest ass. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I mean. Uh, chest ass. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Did anyone cry? Did anyone cry? Not me. Not me. Hang on. My laptop's just turned itself from day daylight into nightlight. Hang on. Hang on. And I do have the light on in the uh in the dining room here. Uh hang on. Let me just change us back. Otherwise, you guys have all gone yellow. And, and so is so is so is this one. Um, bear with me one second. I do apologize. There we go. Better, better. Now we have light. Uh, 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 <clears throat> Ready, let's go. Uh I mean, I've still got the merch there. I mean, I can get it printed up. I've got a printer. I've, I've, I've got the mugs. I was going to do chest ass mug. I'm going to put it on the community post for you guys. I mean, it's up to you. <laughs> we can do it. I shit, you know what I do. One place didn't actually run my A1C, <clears throat> and so I when I I called and I updated my doctor and I told them what happened and I asked them to send it over and I was assuming I was going to have to go back and draw more blood. Uh -huh. Well, I guess because of what was already drawn, they were able to rerun like the same blood tests and get my hemoglobin A1C. And as of today, I have reverse my diabetes. I am currently a pre-diabetic. Um, prior to hey, life goals. So you get a blood test where you've probably fasted or just woke up and gone, oh crap, I've actually got to go and do something something didn't he and uh it's a uh, so this is some you're pre-diabetic okay give it a week do this um my most recent blood work in october um showed i had a 6.6 .6. um when i was diagnosed i had a 6.8 and she would have been really trying uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, another one. Another fatty who can cure diabetes. Uh, <clears throat> Stop. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I don't know how it works. Uh, these girls, these girls, I mean, look at... Look, She's definitely got filters on here. No, you don't get cured from it, do you? That's like me to say when my lupus is under control, I've cured myself of lupus. No, I haven't. I'm just not struggling. Um, you don't cure it. <coughs> it's always there. It's so bad that they do this. It shouldn't be allowed on YouTube because foodie done it. I cured my diabetes. No, no, there isn't. You can get it under control. Same as autoimmune things. You can get them under control to a degree, but no. And see, and um, between getting on Manjaro, I, well, I have been off metformin for months, by the way. I don't think I updated you guys on that fact because, frankly, I didn't want to hear it. I wanted the results to show me if I was right or not. I was. I felt like being on Manjaro and Metformin was overkill. I have, in the span of October to March, gone from a 6.6 .6 to a 
I am currently a pre-diabetic. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Changes. What? October to March. In six months, you lost 40 pounds. That's fuck all. That's fuck all. my lifestyle changes and I'm treating my diabetes I'm on course to being completely a non-diabetic lies 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 fat no I'm not going to say that anyway uh no stop lying and I don't think that that would have happened yeah 100% if I had stayed I can. in fat acceptance if I had stayed in mm -hmm. the Peterson community, if I'd stayed in my old ways of thinking and understanding the world, I am so thankful and grateful right now. I am floored. I'm so excited oh my. about this. The reason I may not be a lot more jovial right now is because... I am so floored at the level of bullshit that is coming out of you. Uh, and it's dangerous what you're saying because there are a load of dumb people in the world that want to be told things that aren't possible. I would love, I would love someone to go, oh, yeah, if you, like, grind up the inside of a peach pip and, oh, that it all, that'll cure it, that'll cure it. Yeah, no, it won't. No, it won't. But people out there that are desperate, they'll believe this. And it's dangerous. You need to shut up. I was going to say shut up and sit down, but I mean, to be fair, look at the size of it. It's not like it moves very often. Oh, dear. What an idiot. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, let's see where we are in a year's time. Mm-hmm. Let's see where we are in a year's time. Because I found this out a couple hours after something's happened in my life. Um, I wasn't going to allude to it at all. Hopefully, by the time this vlog's coming out, I'll have more answers and I'll... So don't then. Don't. See, you've done this before and I've been watching you from the beginning. Uh, you do this. You do this like Anne Boleyn does this. You do this like Foodie does this. Oh, yeah, well, there's something going on, uh, but I'm not going to say about it or anything at the moment. But then you put it out there. Fucking ugh. Know whether or not, you know, how much I'll actually share about the situation. Well, if you're not going to share it completely, shut the fuck up. Because it's so early on in the process. But I would, li I would be lying right now. If oh, my God. She's going to eventually get her autism diagnosis that she was crying about not getting before. I didn't say that I was utterly terrified about something that... Terrified? Tonight. I'm fucking terrified. But what's going to come out of your stupid mouth next? Based on the blood work that I got back, <sighs> I was Googling. And... Well... Go riddle me that. Okay, so now she's a hematologist. <sighs> now she's a hematologist. So people go to university and uh, they'll 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 do their junior doctor. They'll do their specialisations. Um, now she's a fucking hematologist. Knowing what she knows about her blood work, well, she just said she's cured of diabetes. So she knows fuck chick shit. A certain word kept popping up, and I'm not going to say what that word is right now. Cunt. <laughs> Goodbye, monetization. Not that you're ever here. <laughs> A certain word kept popping up. Yes. Yes, Rosie. That'd be the word cunt. Um, Sorry. And I don't want to um use this as like a way to like fear monger on the internet or sad fish or anything i'm just really really scared because i what? realized that you might have caught or actually be the source of cuntitis oh i can tell you i don't need dr google hello alexa uh does rosie have cuntitis Hello, Sharon. Nice to meet you. Yes, she does. 
Oh, my Alexa's not plugged in at the minute. Uh, <laughs> I could have asked her, right? <laughs> Realized that I've been dealing with something. She's got contatosis. I have like 11 out of the 16 symptoms. Oh, of, you've got them all. And... No, on contatosis, you've got 16 out of 16. In fact, you've got 20 out of 16. You're an unusual case. Um, a couple of symptoms that I didn't even know were symptoms that I've been having for a while, and the majority of these symptoms have been happening. Well, that would be the delusion, lies, and just basic moral lack of any compass. They are real, real founding symptoms of contonitis that are often missed. Um, and medical practitioners, you can't trust them. Like, they will miss these symptoms over and over and over and over again. Um, I would imagine at this stage, she is looking for stuff that's wrong with her so she can probably get disability. I think that's where she was when she was so crying that she, having been seeing specialists for months, they wouldn't give her a diagnosis of autism. So I reckon it's that. She's, she's looking for ailments. And, um, yeah, it's a terminal case. And heightened rates over the past... Pretty much, Munchausen, yeah. And recently some of these symptoms have been happening as of the past... Hypochondria, Munchausen. And I, will be, I will be bringing it up with my doctor when I see her on Friday. It's currently... It just became Thursday morning. It's like Thursday at 1 o'clock in the morning as I'm filming this. Thursday the uh, 21st of March. And so I'll be going over blood work with her, and I'll be requesting specific blood work. And once I get m m more back, I may talk about it. Oh, you're going to demand some different blood work? Okay, what, so that you can get a surefire contonitis diagnosis? All right, I think you should do that. I mean, uh, uh, do your little finger prick thing. Send it over to me. I'll diagnose you. <laughs> You've got it. You've got contonitis. Could be terminal at this stage. Look at the size of you. It. Hopefully, from the same point with a side order of chest ass. Of, oh, I was crazy, and Dr. Google freaked me out. Spoke to two different people um, my mom and a best friend. Oh, fucking that will do it. Um, <laughs> that will do it. Yeah, I spoke to two people. Yeah, <laughs> flick my hair that's left. Uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, they're hematologists, they've studied, haven't they? It's been confirmed to me that I'm not crazy. And that what the fuck? I thought you was only in the mental institute not long ago. Hey. What do you mean it's been confirmed to you that you're not crazy? By who? Your mum and her best mate? Uh yeah, no, I, I you're not the placebo here. My fears are valid and my concerns are valid. Oh, fucking hell. And so Yeah, she's probably got anorexia um, next. I'm not going to speak much further on it right now because it's so new to me processing it. I don't think that that is wise for yep, me, too. <laughs> me therapeutically speaking. I don't think it's wise for me on a lot of standpoints. Um, unlike some people on the internet, I don't have any desire to huh? um, sad fish for attention or use. <coughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me. What? Excuse me. Who? Sad fishing. You've done nothing but sad fish. Shut up, sit down, and don't break the bed. Something that is a possibility of a health scare for clickbait um, because I think that's really fucked up and irresponsible to do. You know, I remember... But you're doing it nonetheless. You're doing it nonetheless. All righty. One of my first non-scale victories I ever shared with you guys was I used to have those brown streaks on the sides of my neck. Well, fucking dirt... Dirt? What, you washed? Yay. Go you. Um, and I, it was one of my first vlogs I like showed side by sides. And I was thinking about that the other day. Uh -huh. That was one of the first things that cleared up when I started working on my health journey. As a fat person sharing my health journey, um, sharing my experiences, I get so much shit in the comments about, you know. Health journey? Hi, Marion. How you doing? You all right? Yay, Shona. How are you? I hope you will. <sighs> oh, you know, bananas have too much sugar. You shouldn't be eating this, you shouldn't be eating that. And it's like 
there's one thing about me that I'm not going to tolerate. It's like food policing in my comments because I know what the fuck I'm doing. And looks it like it looks like it's been a rip roaring success so far. Who are we? Nobody's. Thing this blood result test back today showed me like that I'm right that um you know the way that I've been managing these responses from people has has been good and re just reminding myself that you know balance is the key here not and bad it's this, the weekend so it's always good of, Marianne. Like, oh you know you? you can't even eat fruit if you're a diabetic like oh god did you no uh, you know how much fruit I eat in a day it's Loads. a lot I, I eat a good amount of fruit. I mean, and I balance it out with protein. Yep. Um, speaking for me and me alone under the guidance of a doctor. What the shit? Shut up. Uh, you eat a load of fruit. Okay. You eat a load of everything. That doesn't surprise me. If it's there, you'll eat it. Look at the size of you. And That's I shaming. eat carbs. I eat bread. But I portion control. And the manjaro has been helping. Well, clearly not. Clearly not. Thank you so much. And um, I'm I'm so thankful. And I am nervous to see what happens in the future. You know, I have been laid off. I may not always have access to this medication. That is a scary thought to think. Uh oh, here we go. Feel sorry for me. We'll go back and check. Oh, bet she's got a cash up. Have to wait and see, right? And then I'll just have to control it. Actually, to be fair, there's a PayPal on my bio thing. On, on on here but hmm, i might not always be able to afford it so uh if i get really sick again and i get really fat again it's your fault <laughs> <laughs> oh these folks pull your top up love i'm scared that um you know might be seeing the dark side of somebody else's titty from there with my diet but, you know, I lived my life as a pre-diabetic for over a decade. Oh, my God. From, like, literally the age of 18 until... Oh, an undiagnosed diabetic either. Or oh, this is no... This, this is no flex. This is not a flex. 30, 31. So, oh God. you know... Yeah, it can. I'm, I'm back. I... My nan was diabetic. I was able to course correct. I did that. When my, no one else did that for me. It was really weird. Um, before we knew that I had lupus um, and other shit that's going on, um, my bloods were all over the show, like all over the show. I was showing, they were like, it was like type one and a half diabetes. It was just weird. And um, fruit, and they were like, no fruit juice for you, no this, no that. And um, it's like now... Um, I have to take a massive dose of vitamin D. I just don't really do well with it. I don't know why, even when I'm out in the sunshine, I don't. And they're like, mm, yeah, uh, don't be doing a ton of grapefruit juice with that. It will muck it, muck it up. And it's like, no one really knows. Well, people do know, but I didn't know. Um, <laughs> I was drinking grapefruit juice because someone told me years ago it was great for cellulite. I don't have cellulite, so I'm like, I'm going to have that. <laughs> I'm going to have that. <laughs> um she's talking so much nonsense but yeah um my my nana she had diabetes and she had to be so careful with fruit so careful and she loved fruit i remember when like fat acceptance internet feeders internet tried to oh. cancel me because i went on a little rant and i didn't word it the best um at the time when I talk, like, I'm going to reverse my diabetes, and they, like, clipped my Instagram story, and they were all... Yeah, yeah, probably because it was a really dumbass thing to say. But anyway, you were well in that feeder community. You've had your, you've had your shekels out of it, haven't you? And now you decided that you were going to be the queen of girl world and uh, take on Amberlynn Reed and take their crown. Yeah, you, you well, you're in the running. You're in the running. What a success. What a crown to want. Angry because, um, you know, at the end of the day, like not everyone can reverse your diabetes. Obviously, if you're type one, you can't reverse it. 
but if you're a type two and it is related to your weight no. um, and you haven't let it go too far. Uh, no, you can control it. It is possible. You absolutely can by treating your diabetes and diet. Well, I mainly did diet. I didn't really do exercise. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. Yeah, you reversed it. All right. Okay. Uh, no, you can control it. Uh, that, that's pretty much it. And uh, and that's an achievement if you can. But coming and spouting this bullshit, no, nah, not so much, lady. This whole time. I've just started implementing that shit. Oh, God. Like, just by the dietary changes and acknowledging your health concerns. Like, boom, you're right there. <clears throat> I want to be more happy about this. I would be jumping for joy right now if I, if I just didn't. My God, what the hell is this? This is like, uh, and she's got her filters on full blast here. Look at her. A uh, little skinny queen here. Filters on full blast because we've just seen it. She doesn't look like this. She does not look like this. Ugh. Spend most of my night crying and terrified. Uh, so I need to stop with that until I know more. Because I, I can't oh, talk God. about this good news without addressing, like, what really sorry folks i need to go to the bathroom i'm gonna leave you here with our um beautiful skinny queen uh give me give me two ticks i'm just gonna run upstairs i need to go to the bathroom i'm gonna mute myself and i'm gonna leave you and let me know what i've missed i mean i'm sure it's gonna be riveting Ugh. why i look like the way i do in my face and why i don't look more excited and i look a little dead in the eyes that's what happens when i've been like in a state of being triggered and scared and overwhelmed I spent a lot of today resting. I even took a nap, which is why I'm still awake. After I walked, after my walking vlog, which will be the video before this one, um, I came home. And even though I had woken up at like 4 p.m., I fell asleep not long after. And I like slept through the night, basically. Woke up around like 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. And then, um, you know, I'm, I am struggling to sleep right now because my cortisol levels are, are very high right now. I can feel that. Um, and my stress is very high. My anxiety is kind of high. Uh, also yesterday I went to, well, this past day. So this morning at like, um, 10 AM, I went to the meeting about like my laid off where we basically got like being laid off and we got to ask questions. It was basically like open floor to ask questions. And there were so many people in that meeting. I firmly believe that my company is just like getting ready to remote people. I don't even know if I mentioned this here, but months ago we got an email from like the head of our company basically telling us that they were going to be dramatically downsizing like remote working. And I panicked and I reached out to my supervisor and I was the dummy who believed her when she told me that, oh, you know, that's not going to affect us. Like that's that's for other stuff. Da, 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 da. And I was like, oh, okay. So it's, it's a slow rollout thing and I should have seen it coming. I should have realized. Um, I just didn't want to believe it. I've got a lot of ups and downs happening right now. Sorry, Face of America. How are you? Um, I haven't caught you recently. I've just been conking out, conking out of the work and just keeping. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah they downsized all right problem solved <laughs> yes which employees can we get rid of if we're downsizing that one that one right there yeah <laughs> right i guess i didn't miss anything with her what is she, what what delights has she got to tell us Oh, our little filtered queen here at the moment because my god in the last one didn't she look rough Right now ruff, ruff. a lot of wins i'm going through all of this insanity and i'm not binging it's crazy man i was watching a tiktok and someone was making a milkshake and i was just like Ugh. i really enjoy you i like cringed out of milk who am i who am i i do watch it on the replay i do but um your chat's lovely you've got a lovely chat and I enjoy it as well because it's so informative and it's nice to it's nice to learn stuff that you you didn't learn. I really enjoy it. 
I used to fucking guzzle the motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Well. Anyway, today, uh, my brother came home with a bunch of stuff from Publix. He had, like, oh, he's some cheese, danishes, some oh, kind shit. of cinnamon sugar pastry, full sugar lemonade, all these things out. And I was looking at these things, and, like, <clears throat> a Publix bakery treats are one of those things that, like... Yeah, he wants the inheritance to himself. The brother's on the... He, he's playing the longish game. He's like, oh, yes, I've been and got all these... Yeah, go on, get him in there, girl. Go on, girl. Get him in there. I don't care how much my diet's changed. I'm a Honestly, chat, um, like Face of America has a super interesting uh, YouTube channel. Um, it's, it's really, really interesting. So far from fat chicks on the internet. Yeah, Face of America is uh, way more intelligent than me, that's for sure. <laughs> it doesn't take the like, the, 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 it doesn't scrape the bottom of the pond <laughs> with the fat chicks on the internet. Always gonna fucking want some of that shit. That shit's so good. Yeah. And, um, and the brother's bringing it in the house. He wants that inheritance. He's not sharing that house in Florida with the swimming pool with you. He's like, yeah, go on. Go on. Well, I've just bought an extra 5,000. I don't know. They got me ordered wrong. Anyway, I'll just, I'll just leave them here on the counter. <laughs> I, my brother was in his room, and so I turned to my mom, and I was like, hey, mom. Mom. So I was like, when Levi comes out here, can you, like, talk to him and, figure out a solution on like where he can put those things so they're not out on the counter so they're like <laughs> fuck he did put them out on the counter he's going for the inheritance yeah the mom can have all the chats in the world this guy's got it sussed. he's gonna come back with copious amounts of harry bows and jellies and all sorts of nonsense he's gonna he's, he's gonna leave a little trowel from her bedroom door to where the great big stash is. It's, it's, it's going to be like fucking Hansel and Gretel and there's going to be a giant cake at the end of it. Hit in and I don't know where they are because, like, <coughs> I don't want to get triggered one night and eat one because I will, like, because I know he wouldn't care that much because, like, yep. we share food in this house, you know? Like, I, I like, I, yeah, it, it, I've been like... in halls, like, I buy him stuff and then, like, if, um, he buys things, for example, like the Hershey. I talked about the Hershey kisses in a video. I'll just like grab a little, like I'll take little bits of things, like you know. I never. No, he just takes little bits of things, like fucking Hershey's. Okay, yeah, that will that that will help. Brother comes in. Oh look, they've got Hershey's on sale here. Oh, I got eight million for two dollars. He's probably sold plasma to raise the funds. Just to speedy the process up a little bit, he wants the inheritance, he does. Don't like the competition. We kind of have like a mutual unspoken respect thing of like, you know, if it's someone else's food, you don't finish it. But like, we can all kind of like share. And if it's a specialty thing, like a specialty product. I know. mean, it's fucking weird that you've got grown ass up adults that won't move out. I mean, Yeah like a, a takeout thing like then you don't eat it you know what i mean like what like two pound of bacon like you just bought you just showed us you bought a load of bacon and ugh, crisps and and hot dogs and <laughs> yeah oh my God. it's about it's all about balance i finally like actually verbalize that instead of just thinking it to myself and being like oh no i don't i shouldn't you know whatever she's so i'm no longer a diabetic you What's fucking diabetic? are I'm 0.3 away from being a non-diabetic. So you're still a diabetic? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, I'm no longer a diabetic. Yeah, my fasting blood was this. I hadn't actually eaten anything for like two fucking days for this reading for my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm no longer a diabetic. Oh, I'm 0.3 away from being a non-diabetic. <laughs> okay. Uh, so diabetic then. <laughs> All right, got you. Got you. Okay, good times. Intermission or a diabetic intermission, I guess. I don't Mission. Know. I How dare you? You've got some fucking nerve. No, you can control your diabetes. What are you going on about? Your your diabetes is in remission. Do you know how fucking insulting that is to people that are in remission from things like fucking cancer? Ah. Oh. 
<sighs> no, I don't say oh, I said that before. Hello, cousin. Hello, cousin. What? <laughs> um, no, I don't think she can afford to go back. She's done. I, I was saying at the beginning of the stream, we've had the stupid hospital one, um, which was like 12 minutes, minute and a half with stupid cameo. Uh, and we have 45 seconds in a week. And then prior to that, we had, what, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes of content. And then prior to that, a whole week of YouTube bad. Uh, Amberly should be worried, so there's tons of these idiots out there. There's tons of them. And you know full what well, I've been covering Rosie since she turned up on the scene. I think the last one was a few months ago when we was taking the piss out of her try on. But, um, yeah, we move on. We've got nine ton of content from Anne Boleyn and Foodie that we can rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat um, from way, way before the last year. And new ones coming through. I'd be worried. They can't take their old content. Well, Foodie has, and that's her. And Belin won't take her old content down because that will hurt her even more. So, yeah, it's a little bit like the business model that was absolutely awful to start off with. Well, I don't know. <clears throat> the, the chickens are coming home to roost, aren't they? Oh, well, never mind. I'm going to call Look, if my A1C is actively not, then at the end of the day, that's what I'm going for. And here's the bottom line. Uh -huh. Once I hit that, it's not going to be like a free for all. It's not going to be like, a, oh, now I can do whatever the fuck I want. You know, think I may, you know, uh, be a little more lenient in terms of like how I treat myself, but I'm not... I'm not going to be giving this. Oh, honest. Well, I've got one. Oh, I've got one that I'm, I'm, even for me, even for me, I'm not too sure about. It's absolutely bloody outrageous. There's a ton of them out there. There really is. I'll go and search that one out. Hang on. Uh, because I'm in the dining room. Where's my damn pen? Let me jot that down. Uh do hot dogs make good soup? Okay, let me search that. Up. Uh, hot dogs. And that's the weird thing because everyone's saying um, that they're getting these types of folks randomly in their feed. And the one that the ones that I'm getting have got like 600 subs or 200 subs. And we're in the early doors, which is exactly the right, right time, the right time to be there. So clearly, the algorithm of the crap that I watch, um, with regards to the lulls, isn't cutting it anymore for me because I'm not watching it. So they're giving other options. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah yep a hundred percent a hundred percent and why not why not i mean i think it's 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 hilarious that um channels cover old foodie especially the stuff that she's taken down because oh god hang on shall i go on my look some fucker some fucker Gave me a strike for bullying and harassment, foodie beauty. Uh, I just, because people are going to say, they always say that you're lying. Uh, hang on, let, let me go in my studio here. I'm going to show you what happened here. Well, I can show you <laughs> the result of it. Nah, uh, bear with me. Let's go in my studio. You guys can see this, can't you? Yeah, you can, because I'm sharing the same screen. Then we'll go back to her up. Oh, my God, I need a new laptop big time. Creaking, darling, creaking. Right, okay, can we see here? Important, I've got a warning. That was for Janelle Archer ages ago, the satanic ritual abuse shit. Um, <clears throat> so 
Here I had, uh, thank you for your appeal. We've determined that your content, Foodie Beauty and Metin, part 24 hour fiance, doesn't violate our community guidelines. Your content is now live and monetized or whatever it says. Uh, there we go. Strike history. Uh, okay, so this is the one that I've got. I've done the training eventually. Goes on the 5th of July. That was Jenna Archer. Um, but this was the foodie beauty one. So I got a strike, um, got my live dinged off, all the rest of it. And, uh, I don't know who be, what sort of person goes around striking small channels, foodie, while you're having a little tantrum. I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, let's get back to where we were. My channel. And you can see my earnings this month. Where is it? Oh, look, a whole, <laughs> whole 30 quid if I'm lucky. <laughs> yeah, we're really not in it for the money, ladies and gentlemen. We're really not. Anyway, let's get back to the first side. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's get back with her. No, that's not. No, not that. Not that. Ugh, let's go in history. Blah, 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 blah. Come on. Thank you. Well, thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Let's share a different screen. There we go. Back with her. Oh, no, that's not the one we wanted. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's, let's get rid of that completely. <laughs> right, one second. Oh no! Oh no! Look, I've I've mucked around and found out. I think we'll be good. I think we're fine. Oh, hang on. Let's move that over to that screen. Uh, YouTube, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I'm so glad it's Friday. I really am. Right, hang on. History, where is she? I'm in remission for my diabetes, heart. Ugh, farts, hearts. <sighs> right, okay. There we go. Right, let's get back to where we were, shall we? And then we'll begin. Right, I just wanted to um, do that because I know there's there's all the naysayers. Uh, it's like when Nad struck me. I was the first one he ever struck. He, like, he learned from foodie, go for the little channel. So she was at it again, and um, I, felt, I felt it was best to, um, you know, show you guys that it was a thing. Right. Anyway, back with this one. Hi, Rosie. So she's so pleased with herself. I stop. I remember how sick I got when I started developing diabetes. Like I was literally walking with a cane because I couldn't keep myself upright. Oh, and then God. I had people on the internet saying that I was faking being disabled and faking needing mobility aids when I was actually sick and um uh no I don't doubt that you actually need mobility aids from time to time look at the fucking size of you what I would say is that uh, uh I'm not gonna say it <laughs> that's the sort of stuff that will give me a strike uh yeah we're all thinking it I was being attacked for trying to figure out my health and, and. Uh oh. What? Like you were being attacked when I said that you were collecting health issues like fucking Pokemons. Well, you are. So many other things on top of just, you know, general internet core shit. Mm -hmm. And so for me to be sitting here right now 
in this moment, it feels really fucking good <laughs> yeah. for so many reasons. And the truth is, one of those reasons is the petty part of me is like, <laughs> nerds, I was right. And um, well, yeah. no, it's not just that. Like, it's, it, it's, stop it's not just that, is it? For what? Because she also she also has kind of like the exhibitionist element of foodie. And and the poor hygiene of Anne Boleyn and and foodie. Um, I mean, in this one, she looks like she might have had a monthly hair wash. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's a mix of all of them, and she studied them. Let's be clear, because she came in here, she studied these successful fat chicks, um, if you call it success, monetary successful fat chicks on the internet and uh she came steaming in here saying i'm gonna be the queen of girl world <laughs> fucking okay all right we all want that life goals she came with me right uh when when i said she was a funnel feeder <laughs> um she was in my chat and i i said f or funnel feeder um and um she she was like, but you don't understand. You don't understand. I had uh, 30,000 Instagram followers, Instagram followers. And I'm like, uh, yeah, but you live with your parents. Can you fucking go and do one? Yay. The 30-somethings that think that being on the internet gets you a house, gets you a steady life, gets you a career. No, no, not so much. Yeah, but I've got followers and you're a little channel. Yeah, I'm a little channel. And I've equally actually got real stuff that I can pin something onto. I wasn't 30 odd years old living with my fucking mama. I oh, 30 years old. Yeah, no, uh, I was completely independent. Completely independent. I had a load of life experience. I'd brought my kids up and, um, well, was bringing my boys up. And uh, yeah, so Rosie. I will be checking mm. in with you guys on Friday. Um, oh, I wasn't yeah. going to film today. I I really do like want to encapsulate this Big brother moment. house. Um, <laughs> That's what we need. The fat chicks in a big brother house. They eat each other. I could not look. I got a notification that the blood work lab completed at like literally 102 or 104 in the morning. Like 102, 103 in the morning. And I was like, I, I have to look. So um hopefully um i'm not right about what i think i'm right about but oh my god she's 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 doing it again she's got 11 out of the 16 things of the thing that she well contitis we've already i've already diagnosed her she's got 16 out of the 16 things of contiditis uh lionitis and contiditis she 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 ticks all the boxes here uh, I've never seen anyone look so fucking happy with still being diabetic and um, <clears throat> thinking she's got something else wrong with her. Uh, oh, she <laughs> scaffolding. I'd go with scaffolding. I think we've gone past any bra at this stage. A fucking crew and a scaffolding company. Probably some groundworks for down below, you know. Bleh, no thanks. To be right about these things, because I don't just like look at a couple things and go, "Oh my god, I have that!" Like, I do a lot of research and a lot of fact checking. And fucking convince yourself you've got all of these things, like you convinced yourself you had autism, and you spoke to your mum about that, if I remember correctly, and your mum was. Oh, yeah, actually, you did do this as a kid. You did do that as a kid. And then multiple people over multiple months said, no, you don't have autism, and you went on the internet and you cried about not having something. Uh, <coughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah, always right, always right. And then when she got this diagnosis, she said, uh, well, I don't care that they've diagnosed me that I'm not autistic. Jeff, them, I know I am. It's there. It's there. We covered it. 
and then I, I go to multiple people and then of course you mm -hmm. know I get doctor's confirmation so uh, what like the autism doctor's confirmation yeah, and, and am I nervous thank you to everyone who's who's been so supportive of me and my journey and understanding that this is a shit show and she's gaslighting everyone uh yeah I feel sorry for these people uh, who genuinely do care about her and people do. And uh, it's so disgusting to treat people like this. Um, a marathon, not a sprint. And, uh... Well, it's barely a fucking walk, is it, at this stage? I don't know about a marathon or a sprint. I mean, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> well fucking did it dude i mean snickers bars here in the uk used to be called marathons might be that i did it well, <laughs> <laughs> she's doing on balloon here yeah i did it i did it oh my god oh my god this is outrageous this is fucking outrageous. Yeah, I did this. I did this. I did it. I did it. Where'd you get that from? Where'd you get that from? Big girl. I will say, uh, I feel like Manjaro has been far more effective for my diabetes than uh, metformin. Anyway. <clears throat> Are you fucking for real? Mm. Oh, no, she lost her job, Sally. No, this is why she's more active. No, uh, well, that too. Um, but no, uh, she lost her job. She's unemployed. So she's gone from, you know, like back back when she was on the, on the scene and everyone got bored with her and I'd intermittently go and take the piss out of her. As I have since she arrived nine, ten months ago. Um, no, she lost her job. So she's gone from maybe or maybe not posting once a month to every couple of days since she got the boot at work. So, again, her backup plan is YouTube money. Because don't forget, folks. Yeah, Sharon Girl, yeah, you've got a tiny little YouTube channel yeah, that I came in on, uh, but I had I had 30,000 followers on Instagram. Yeah, well, God, well, well this, that's bought you a house, isn't it? Well, I guess it has. Uh, uh, no, she did have a I believe she probably did have a job because she wasn't posting. Um, she had a work from home job that was kind of like it sounded like a call center thing for a medical company. Like people would be phoning up, going, "Yeah, but this bit of equipment hasn't turned up, or this medication hasn't turned up," and like that. She's working from home doing that. <clears throat> uh, why did she get the boot? We don't know. We don't know. Because I, I just watched this with the chat with um, um, who knows all about this? Uh, Cheryl's mum, I think it was, and Lutine. And, and I, I was like, she got an email. She, yeah, kind of a call centre kind of remote job in the medical industry. But she she said that she got an email out of the blue from someone she didn't know in the company, knew it was bad news, had a meeting, and they sacked her on the spot. <laughs> I let her go, she said. <coughs> That's getting sacked. Um, and she was done and dusty. Well, let go. What did she say? Yeah, let go. Um, but it was done and dusted on that day. And I'm like, now. Nah. Well, if it's a redundancy, normally there's an integration, like you work that month out and then you get your month that you're owed. But no, it was like instant, instant, you're out. So I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I don't know. 
But considering, like, all of her chronic illness and her psych appointments and this one and that one and the other one and her Instagram and her this and her that and her podcasts, like, maybe she just was quite fucking unreliable. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But um, I do believe she did have that job. I mean, was she crap at it? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't know. Thank you, guys. Hey, hey. friends. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a part of my um, oh, God. doctor's appointment. Oh, no. Chestos. Chestos is back. Oh, Jesus Christ. Help. Help that happened today i filmed in the car talking about some of the other major stuff and um i'm waiting on uh some follow-ups and stuff so you might see this before i fully God, more more Ugh. does she actually think that when we're in the economic climate that we're in we want some fat chick on the internet telling us how bad everything is for them and piling on their poor me and their ailments. Fuck off. Like, break down that situation. Um, but I wanted to talk about a specific portion of my doctor's appointment that I was just thinking about again. Uh -huh. um, I was talking with my, my current doctor, my PCP, that I have talked about not being happy with in the past. And, and oh, fuck. Doctor shopping. Not happy with the doctor. Well, damn you. Did you go through medical school? Yeah, well, I'm a fat chick with a chest ass. What do you know? Feeling frustrated by for certain reasons. And um, my appointment today and some of the stuff I've been going through and how she spoke with me today made me kind of have to take a moment and, like, realize that maybe I need to uh, uh, reevaluate myself a little bit and humble myself a little bit. And <laughs> You reckon? Fucking hell. You reckon? Or oh, we run out of people that would take you on. Uh, so you're stuck with your, what we would call general practitioner, you're stuck with your doctor and uh, you've probably gone all around the place looking for another one. They don't want you. Jesus Christ, they would. Okay, so now you've got to humble yourself. Right. Uh, uh. <laughs> all right, just ass. I know, I'm from the UK, it's an ass. Ass, ass. She's got a chest ass. There's no question. Uh, I I have no idea when the humbling begins and when the diabetes starts again. <laughs> uh oh, is this too much? I'm having I'm having too much fun. I forgot how how much fun I have ripping the shit out of um quirky. Can't help it. It's, it's unusual. It's probably not that healthy, but. <sighs> Yeah, no, I'm not going to talk to Dr. Frank and Bastard, my head doctor, about this because it's too much money and I have too much fun here. I'll deal with normal shit, you know. Well, normal shit, you know, the normal shit that I go through. And Oh, God, I go through everything. I tell you, I go... No, I don't. I just keep myself in check because of what has happened in the past. I go and see Dr. Frank and Bastard, the head doctor, just to keep me levelled. That's all. That's all. Kind of reflect Not on dumping, folks. from where I was coming from in previous appointments versus like how I've been growing oh and changing. My God. Growing, um, is, where she's been growing, all right. And with the growth comes the change. Bigger, 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 bigger. Pew. We were talking about Manjaro. We were talking about my weight. We were talking about, well, not even really, I'll get to that in a second, but mainly about the Manjaro, oh, the us. national shortage the dosing and um come to find out that she never sent a 10 milligram monjaro <laughs> here we go blame the doctor but oh god this is Anne Boleyn 101 isn't it doctor's fault description ops worker that i spoke with um misspoke or there was a miscommunication of some kind a 10 milligram was never sent um, she actually sent another five milligram script apparently because she was planning to keep me on the same dose. And when she weighed me today um, on the scale, I'm back to 459. And um, 
Can the rest put uh, put hundred in front of that? Five fifty nine. Okay. Yep. Five fifty nine. Yeah, you're back to it. Okay. Good times. Um, when I hit that a little bit ago, and um, she told me I hadn't even I didn't even realize this. She told me that um, in between doctor's appointments that I had had with her, I had dropped forty pounds. Where down the back of the sofa? Did she say forty dollars? She dropped forty dollars accidentally down the back of the sofa. Shut up! Do we need? Oh, do we need to do it? Oh, we can. Uh, um, I had a forty-pound loss in four to five months when we were talking about the Manjaro and the dose increase, and I was explaining to her that. Based on what I was told, they're looking like they're more than... Uh, in all those months, of this size, that is jeffel. Wow. Oh, the bacon grease. Oh, the hot dogs. Oh, the this. Oh, the pizza, whatever it was. In the last video that we watched here this evening, 40 pounds in that amount of months. What? Are you kidding me? I have to really, really... Actually, next time I put the camera on, you guys will be proud of me. My cheeks have filled out again. I've been really, really trying hard to keep eating. I know that sounds weird. I know that sounds weird. Um, uh, but you'll see the difference because I hate it when, like, my cheeks were all sunk in and they were the last one and I was feeling a little bit better then. Um, but I actually noticed it today in the mirror. I'm like, wow, when I was brushing my teeth, I'm like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're getting cheeks back. Uh, 40 pounds. She, Dr. Now says that is possible in one month. How many months? I'm likely getting the 7.5 in before the five. Um, she was like, well, I mean, we can do that, but I'm worried about putting you on the 10 because at this rate of what, how you're going, I'm worried about you losing weight too quickly. What? When she said that to me, my, I kind of just went Fuck like, off. oh, like, what? Oh, 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 really? A death, death fat here. And you've got a doctor telling you that they're worried that you're going to lose weight too quickly. Uh, lies, 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 fatty, I know, I seem to suffer from contenitinous, lies, 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 you've got to be kidding me, losing weight too quickly, all right, I'll wait. For a, that's really great. That is something that, as a fat person, uh -huh. I respect so much. Of course you do. Because a lot of the validity of with with which we we talk, with which we talk oh about. Oh my god, her mouth farts are all the best. She talks and talks and talks. She thinks she's smart. She thinks if she talks more, she comes across smarter. It's the sign of an insecure, stupid person. Fat phobia in medical settings is that, like, as long as you're losing... Fucking fat phobia in medical settings. No, no, when a doctor tells you you're a death fat and you need to lose weight, uh, it's probably for health reasons. And they won't say it's a death fat, but it is. It's going to kill you. And now you've got a doctor, you've managed to find a doctor that is... Worried about you being eight million pounds, losing weight too quickly. Okay, slow it down. Slow it down. <laughs> How much slower can it get? Can it get so slow that she actually starts putting it back on again? Oh, I reckon. Oh, what does she buy? Bacon, hot dogs, crisps. Losing weight, you're happy. It doesn't. They don't even really necessarily care how you're doing it. And my doctor is not like that. My doctor is con is conscious of the rate of the weight loss, how it's going. She's very happy with 
um, the juxtaposition between my two blood works. Oh um, my god! Uh, what is it with these these people as well? They have these really weird little teeth, like like Yorkshire terriers, like a small palate. Is that because the head has grown so much? It just looks like that. Or am I like a toothy person? I never thought I was. What is it? Um, I um, oh, there was another God. part of the situation though that I'll I'll get to in a moment. But she uh, she and I in that conversation, oh, God, um, and I feel like today she was very receptive. Like, because I also brought up a major concern that I'm getting a referral for, and I have an appointment for, and I'm going to try to get handled. But Oh my fucking god! Here we have the crumbs. If I'm really poorly sick, well, I'm not surprised anyway. Don't care. Before um, my insurance runs out, just so that way I know either way. Oh, that's a thing, isn't it? That's a thing. So she's lost her job. So she's got to get all this shit in on her insurance while while she's in there. Uh oh, now this is the thing in America that, I mean, it pisses me off in the UK. There's people down my street that don't work. They never have, and there's nothing wrong with them because they do, like, cashing and stuff, and uh, they don't work, and they have the full benefit of the healthcare system here. Um, so there's, there's pluses and minuses in everything, but... Yeah, I guess if you lose your job, you lose your insurance, and and it's super expensive. I know that in in America, it's super. And and for me in the UK, that's an unusual thing to think about. Um, yeah, I mean, for her, well, she's reversed the diabetes. She's good to go, right? She's fine. Although she wants to find something else out wrong with her so she can get disability, I would say. Um, but for other people in this in in this situation, that's pretty horrifying to me. Um, because that isn't how it is here in the UK. Um, it just isn't. But it's not free. People go, oh, it's free healthcare. No, it isn't. I take 13 odd percent. Oh, actually, you might have gone down. I think it might have gone down to 11% or something like that uh, recently. But they take it out of your salary, whether you use it or not. It all comes out of everyone's salaries. But it does mean you're paying for the shitheads, which is a bit annoying. You really listened, and I felt like <laughs> um, she was really educated in what she was talking Please about. Excuse and myself. I realized. I'm so sorry. I probably coughed down the microphone there. I'm so sorry. Is that I think some of my own internal stuff was getting in the way of my own care. And I, Daft after out. reflecting on it today, I want you to with eat. the fact that I'm going to be losing my insurance, with the fact that. Oh, don't ever say sorry about that. Don't ever say sorry about that. You need to eat. You need to eat. I need to have a little chill out too. Can't always be looking at these fat chicks on the internet. Come on. Everyone's got a life. Even if it's quiet time. My life is in upheaval right now. I have decided that I'm going to cancel the new doctor's appointment. The new doctor does seem great if I ever do end up switching them in the future. I, you know, I may do that. But, um... I was really impressed with how it was handled today. Um, I was really... Uh-oh. Uh, the doctor's appointment that wasn't existing. She went doctor shopping. She's a bloody liability. No one wants her. And now she's lost her insurance. All right. I'm really impressed by her acknowledgement of that. Um, oh, God. Because we were discussing the different vitamin deficiencies and everything, and... Um, she was what? telling me that, um, you know, we were going over. Excuse me. Oh, no. Don't you be telling me about mineral and vitamin deficiencies. Oh, what? Oh, God. What next? 
Oh my God, she's got the 16 signs of lupus, has she? Fuck off. No, she absolutely doesn't. But uh, the vitamin deficiencies. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, that's probably because of your awful diet. But anyway, never mind. For all the different details. And I forgot what I asked her. I think it was just in relation to like why I could even be having these deficiencies. And yeah. she was like, well, honestly, um, this can be pretty common in people who are severely um, massively fat, overweight or whatever. Massively fat. And I said, oh, okay. And me. Mm hmm. Six months ago, yeah, not, not let alone a year, three years ago, six months ago would have been uh, upset by that. Would have been what the people said you had health conditions because you're fucking massively fat, really. And your diet, the size of you, tells us your diet. Green beans doesn't do it all, lady. Uh, choosing to have chili. With extra cheese, extra large chili, uh, with extra cheese and extra onions and leaving fruit in the bag for breakfast is not a fucking riddle. Piss off. There's more to this. Like there's more to the job. Shut the fuck up, lady. Ugh. Ugh. My God triggered by that would have been hurt by that would have been yeah. possibly even angry oh by yeah that. angry triggered yeah no that's kind of we well, you're a giant arsehole so yeah giant arseholes do get triggered by being told the truth so yeah but i guess uh now the insurance is up and your doctor is kind of stuck with you on the dying embers of that policy because no one's going to take someone on, are they? When their policy is at the end of it. So you're stuck with this person. Now you're going to have to be nice to them. But <laughs> good luck. Good luck getting all your fake diagnosis because you've been rude to this person over and over and over and over and again. That. I don't know if I don't know six months ago if I would have been angry. I mean, I think a year, two, three years ago, oh. I would have been, I would have been dismissive. Oh, I would gosh. have been angry. But um, uh -huh. she was just being honest, and she was just yeah, telling me what I needed to hear. And I was able to process it in the moment and just like, okay, what you know, that, that's oh, part of this. Right. The other part of my blood. Oh, okay, okay. So she was able to process it. In the moment, as opposed to not being able to process it before losing her health insurance. Alrighty. Okay. Yeah. yeah all right, Rosie. Tell us. Tell, tell, tell us it. Tell, 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 tell. I'll see it. Uh, all right. This is outrageous. <laughs> this is so stupid. And look at her. She's actually going to try and sell people what she's trying to sell, which is she reversed her diabetes. She hasn't. Uh, and um, she's not a desperado to get on disability uh, because she was all cocky about sacking her doctor. Oh, dear that I haven't really talked about publicly on the internet because I frankly don't want unsolicited advice. I don't want people. People are already food policing me in my comments and it it will always be Well, no fucking shit. The giant load of hot dogs, bacon, processed ham, pizza shit, crisps. Yeah, that, that probably might be it. Irritate the shit out of me. Always. I fucking cannot stand food police. Like... Yeah, and you've got anger issues, that's for sure. There's no question about that. You've got anger issues. 
and you spend too much time on the internet. Uh, testament today, the minute Yabba takes the piss out of you, you're in the chat, hungry fishing. Because you think this is going to be your new job? No, it won't be. No, it won't be. Get a job that pays. You know what I mean? Shut the fuck up. These fat chicks got, got their money off of mukbangs and being car crashes. The internet is now flooded with fat chicks being car crashes and eating too much. You missed the boat. You think you're going to be it? You're not. You're not. Fuck up. When it comes, uh, I could rant about that for days. When I initially got my blood work done for the first, mm -hmm. um, so back in October, uh, for the first time, I had elevated <sighs> cholesterol levels. Both the happy and the bad cholesterol were not where they needed to be. Um, and oh, fuck me. She can say she's cured her cholesterol as well. And then she brought up uh, statins, and I didn't want to do it. Yeah, um, no, I wanted. Do that. I've made all these different changes and all these different things. Um, and then both of them went in the right direction by one point. So, hang on a minute here. Behave yourself. Uh, are you telling me you're in healthy range for cholesterol? I am going to tell you, you're a point bank fucking liar. You are not. You are not. Ugh. Then in this whole time, so pretty much all this shit dramatically improved. My white blood cells improved. Um, all of these different things uh, improved. The vitamin blood panel was done for the first time, but everything else improved dramatically. But the cholesterol didn't. And so she brought it up again today, and I looked at her, and I'm like, you know what? I haven't been trying. I haven't been like, I haven't done my research. I haven't tried any like. Nah. Well, maybe the bacon fat and the hot dogs and the, well, all of that. That might, Okay, never mind. So the thing that can clog your arteries, no, you were like, oh, it's massively high, but never mind. I'm good. Come on, I'm skinny. Actual routes to try to lower my cholesterol before going on a, a, a statin. I was like, give me this. Give me this six. I, I will seriously consider this the next time we, we have this conversation. Mm -hmm. um, if you give me oh, this oh, time to research, see what possible natural supplements can help with that, what things I can do in my diet to promote uh, better. Yeah, fucking stop eating chips. Stop eating bacon grease. Stop. You're that dumb chest ass. Okay, got you cholesterol because it's like at the end of the day am i gonna give up my bacon no Ugh. am i gonna give up my egg yolk right i'm falling i i i'm done here uh i'm gonna come back but she's pissing me off and when i'm winding myself up i'm winding you guys up too she's just pissing me off i fancy i i i do you know what i want i want chocolate milkshake <laughs> that's what i want okay oh no not a healthy queen Oh, uh, no one said it was. No one said it was. I've got high cholesterol. Mm. I know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know where. My, well, maybe booze. Maybe booze. But heart disease is in our family for people who aren't fat. Uh, my poor Nana, she had her first heart attack at 42. So, yeah, it's a bit of a, bit of a thing. But, yeah, they, they said my cholesterol went up one point this year and uh, they wanted to have a big old chat with me. And I'm like, mm, okay, cool. I'll make that appointment, whatever. <laughs> All right, it's bad, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm tiny like you as well, Charlie's mum. I'm not fat. Um, I cook everything from scratch. Um, yeah. Well, we don't have processed food. I can't say we don't have the odd takeaway, but honestly, it's probably, God, once every three months or something, if I can't be bothered or I fancy Chinese. Chinese would be mine. Uh, yeah, uh, that that's kind of where my doctors are with it because it makes no sense because they deal with me 
and my bloods with everything else and being underway and like all the stuff, all the stuff that's gone on over the years and and the lupus and shit like that. And uh, they're like, nah. yeah, it's unusual. It's gone up a point this year. I think mine went up. I don't even know what the scale is. I didn't look into it. I didn't want bad news, to be fair. It was at the least of my agenda. And they were like, oh, well, you were 4.4 and now you're 6.4. You've gone up a whole point in a year. Well, I don't know what's a terrible point, but do you know what? I guess the stage that, well, if there's nothing I can do about it, then I'm not going to worry. Everyone's got an expiry date. Everyone's got an expiry day. I seem to be running to mine sooner than than other people, but never mind. What can I do about it? Not a lot. Not a lot. Enjoy yourself while you're here. That's kind of where I am. I wouldn't want to be chest ass over here looking for things wrong with me. I mean, I was like, oh God. Like, stop calling me. Uh, yeah, no, I won't take statins at all. Not a chance. I mean, she's right in that. Oh, fat side over here. She's right. I wouldn't have statins. No way. We've had so much in the press in the UK about statins. No way. Um, let's see what happens. I'd rather take my chances that way than the chemical way. Um, yeah. Right, I'm going to ding off here. Uh, again, I need a wee. Um, old age. Old age. Um, let's jump back on. Give me 20 minutes or so. I want to clear up my kitchen as well because I quickly cooked some supper and uh, I don't want to wake up in the morning in the kitchen be like, like a bad day in Baghdad. So I want to clear my kitchen up, get my, get my dishes all put away and chuck a wash load on. Um, so give me 20 minutes and I'll be back. So much love to you and yours. Um, thanks for being here. I know I'm boring. Anyway, bye. Love you. Look after yourselves. So. Please look after yourselves.